So this will be instructions for how to set up a Carmana 650 light for working on an axis buoy. First thing we'll need to do is open open the unit up and you will find this this uh, Retaining uh, screw here, take a Phillips screwdriver here, and just back it off, but don't, don't take it right out. Then rotate the cap with your, your fingers counterclockwise like this and then it the lid will just pop off here in here you'll find find the battery this is the connector for the battery so we need to first of all connect that up once it's connected you'll see an intermittent flash here and then to this is the configuration screen here so just press the middle button until it lights up. So right now it's 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 uh, it has come up in the uh, position setting, and then to start programming the light, you can actually go through the menus here by going through here, info. Date ALC that's automatic light control. Uh, this is the uh, light power setting that says six candles, that's a bit high for us. And this is the flash sequence here. So, what we want to do is we actually want to set the, the flash sequence to uh, uh, another setting. So what we need to do is just hold this down for about three seconds until you see passcode. And then what you do is uh, the passcode is 753. So we're going to set this to 7 and then oh, 7 set and then 2, 3, four, five, five, set, one, two, three, uh, two, three, and then set, and then just hold it. So now we want to set this flash coat to one, four, seven. And then hold it. So, so now the the flash code is set to one four seven. And then we want to go up to the candle settings. We want to change this to three. So, just hold that till it starts flashing, and then press the down arrow. Set it to three, and then set. Just hold that set button down. All right. So the next thing we want to set is both the, the automatic light control. We want to turn that off. So once you've got it to off. Just hold it, and it's off, and then, and then that's 
the date should be you can change the dates also by doing the same thing uh, it's not really hugely important important unless you're using the automatic light control which we are not but you can set it to the date if you want uh, same sort of thing you would just hold this and then go through the through the uh, the dates to set so once you're you're satisfied with everything just disconnect the light again so now uh, the light once you plug that back in then the light will start working according to the new settings And if it's dark enough, it should it should start uh, working with the new sequence, which should be five flashes every twenty seconds. If it's too light in, in your office, just turn the lights off. To darken it, and then you should see the lights going. So if we turn the lamp off, we just need to put it in a bright light and it will turn itself off. It's dark active. So that's how you do the programming. So one final thing here is once you're finished, then put the, the cap back on, the waterproof cap back on, and that aligns right there. Just push it down and then rotate it back to the to the set screw and then secure it by using your screwdriver set it in and now it's secure and ready for use